face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up, you guys? I'm Gors. Welcome back to another Pokemon Wi Fi battle, which was really Gors' character. And also, sorry for not uploading a Wi Fi battle in three weeks. Leagues have had me really, really, really busy. And I don't have the urge to actually Wi Fi battle. I got the urge back, and I'm definitely looking forward for more Wi Fi battles such as this. Now, we have an OU game here with, of course, the Green Scrap. It was a long time follower and a friend. And um, we are not bringing the most meta heavy teams here, which is kind of good. Um, because he didn't ha had a team in UU, which I was aiming for. But we decided to go OU. And my OU team is also kind of pre um, Pokebank, and so is his, basically. There are just a a basic idea going on. So he has Mega Blasters, Tangrove, Tapu Koko, Dudrio, uh, regular Duck Trio, and Heatron. And I myself is having Mamoswine, Latios, Pelip, uh, Tapu Koko, uh, Mega Scissor, and Polyrath. I had a C move Polyrath with Focus Punch in mind, uh, since Focus Punch is actually a 200 base power move with Phygium C in mind. So I thought that y'all want to try that out. I want to see if we can actually, you know, tip the scale with Polyrath. Though, it is a steep competition, and from the matchup, Tangrove is really, really frustrating for me to deal with. While Scissor and, of course, Pelipper can do massive damage towards it, there are very a lot of Pokemon here you actually can deal well towards them themselves. And, of course, we both have Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko is always annoying. So, I do believe that Tapu Koko that does survive the matchups here overall is going to win the game. So, with that said, let's, of course, go into the match. Let's start off with the Blastoise, which he does. That's great. But I'll just go with Freeze right here, knowing that Earthquake will not do that much damage. And I don't have an nature and Focus Sash. I should be able to do some decent chunk of damage here. And, you know, Blastoise is always such a blast to, of course, face off. As Freeze Ray will do roughly 25% at not too impressive, as Water Pulse will, of course, force us down to, of course, the Sash. And I felt that, alright. No, I'm gonna fall next turn. I either go for an earthquake or stealth rock. So I decided, you know what? Let's go for a stealth rock. Let's actually pull that off before we fall. As uh, he's gonna KO us with a rapid spin. That's that's not insulting. That's that that that's not okay. Uh, so anyway, I lose Mammoth Swine without necessarily doing anything. As I'm gonna bring bring on Quank. And I was pretty sure I was going to without speed. I'm actually not that bulk of a Pelipper. I'm a max speed variant. And I do not outspeed. And the Water Pulse does so much damage because the rain that I created and was made so was a hurricane. While it does a fair amount of damage and I get himself confused, I cannot risk taking a Water Pulse here. I simply cannot. So I have to switch out. And I go and go with the Polyrap because it's very unlikely. We're actually going to deal with his potential cannon moves really well as he's actually going to hurt himself with confusion. Uh, and I'm just gonna wrap it up with an Ice Punch in case he switches out to, of course, his Tangrove. I can get some heavy damage onto that. I do not. He stays in. He sacks the Blastoise. No one would be a risky play of pulling that off as it's gonna bring the Tangrove. And I was like, yay! That's 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 great. That's exactly the matchup I wanted. As um, I'm gonna throw in Venomax, of course, his Mega Scissor. And he goes to Giga Rain. Even if he went for HP Fire, I would have taken it really well due to Rain itself. As I'm, of course, gonna Mega Evolve. Going for a U-turn, predicting him to switch out, which, you know, clearly, since I am Mega Evolving, he stays in. He is not switching out. So the U-turn will do a hefty chunk of damage, it definitely will, but he is actually physical Rocky Helmet, and that's not good. That's definitely not good, as I'm gonna ring Safira, which of course be what Laddie has. And he goes to Sleep Powder, he does miss the Sleep Powder, which is very, very lucky for us, as we can go freely now for our Sun Shock. I knew Heatron had a very, very big chance of coming in, as he did, and the Sun Shock will do nothing, as it should. And I do believe at this time, I'm kind of hard-checked here. There is really nothing I can do, we can set up Rocks if so desires, I definitely felt that Rocks is coming on the field, as I'll just go to Dakar, of course, my Polyrath, as he goes for Substitute. That's scary. That's really scary. Because it does mean that he will get a free move on me. And I don't know which kind of move he could have. I'm free. I'm forced to go for a waterfall, clearly. And it doesn't do anything because, you know, it's he's behind a sub, right? <laughs> clearly. As he goes for Toxic. Toxic is not too bad. Toxic is definitely not too bad. This Tangrowth, I need to go for my all-out pummel. 
and hoping it switches out to Tangrove, because Tangrove is actually KO'd by this range, depending on the set, but it's very likely to be KO'd because of the stab in mind, of course, 300 base instead. But sadly, he does stay in, which is unfortunate, but at the same time, I do freaking kill the Heatron, like, Heatrons. I kill Heatrons with my all out pummel. So, that's gone away. Um, clearly now, his main switching here is back to the tank row. You know, and that's awesome. That's definitely the matchup I so heavily decide as um, I force to switch out yet again. Going back to Safira as he goes for Giga Rain. And that's alright. I was definitely feeling Sleep Powder could come again. And even if it would have done that, I would have been able to, of course, stay in and actually go for Rooster or anything like that. Uh, at this time, we don't necessarily know the set. As I'm going to go for Draco. I don't care if the type of Coco comes in. Luckily, he, he doesn't do that. Um, being that, of course, over like the last time with, of course, Sideshock. Sideshock would not have done anything to this thing. As he goes for Leech Seed. So now I'm aware that this is definitely a fully defensive set. And um, probably doesn't have HP Fire. So with that in mind, I really felt that, you know, I can't stay in here. And with Draco in mind, I can't push the damage up with all that much. And while Draco might very well kill, it's also very likely that uh, Tabu Koko could come in or go for Synthesis. Um, and this transport here is that Sonny, the Tabu Koko, comes in. I felt like, oh shit, this is this is definitely not good. Bullet Punch is not even close to okay, KO against the Tabu Koko. So I need to switch out and I'm gonna actually sack my quack. Which of course, Mr. Pelipper, um, that, that's something weird. Poor Mr. Pelipper, what, did I say that? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Thunderbolt clearly kills the Pelipers. I mean, eons of Pelipers die to that, and definitely on the terrain. So electric, um, I meant electric terrain definitely is going to transpire. I do decide to bring the car here, hoping that he would switch out his uh, Tangrove. He does not do that, and I'm being just a stupid ass because I, I lose my the car here. Waterfall would have KO'd him easily, and I'm like. What? Why did I do that? Two waterfalls will have killed the tanker. That was that was definitely embarrassing. As I go to my own Tapu Koku, which is my only response now to his Tapu Koku. Uh, now here's the thing: going first to last will not say anything because we are speed tied. But as I stated before, the one that has the Tapu Koku last will probably win this game. So he actually wins the speed tie. And as I said there, that point really, really does stay because I don't have any switch into Tapu Koku. Luckily for me, his life orb takes him out. So we don't find out which is the better because huh, he died. Yay. And Electric Train disappears too. Like, it's super, super anticlimactic. So anyway, I was bringing Safira here as it brings the triple threat being, of course, Dudrio. Dudrio will be able to have speed, but I can take a knockoff. But trust me, I don't take that necessarily that well as I can retaliate with, of course, a Draco. I was pretty sure this is a guarantee KO. There's no way he's taking this as he do. And I don't know how, but clearly this was a roll. And uh, hell, the Dudrio did survive. So at this time, I only have Sister, and we are up against Tangrove, Dudrio, and Doug Trio. So it all comes down to whether or not my Sister is able to deal with these Pokemon. Well, well, and that's a big question. Clearly, Bullet Punch here, no issue whatsoever. Tangrove could go for Sleep Power, hoping to KO me that way. But it's actually gonna go to Lake Hole. Being, of course, a Doug Trio. I'm gonna go for Roost, scouting whether or not he's a bandit or, of course, Focus Sash. And with this damage in mind, it's definitely not bandit. That was a good thing. Bandit damage is basically a 2 hit KO on me. And that is definitely something I do not want to experience, as I'll go for, of course, a Bullet Seed here. Bullet Seed, Bullet Punch. Bullet Seed, freaking really? I'm all over the place. As I get a crit down to the sash, uh, he goes for an earthquake. I felt it's very likely next turn that he will go for a quarter of sucker punch. Just get so much damage as possible on me, which would be fair. And with that in mind, I'm gonna go for roost because I'm just that kind of bitch. I, I mean, this kind of play style is definitely. I mean, I'm holding on to a thread here. I mean, Rudy got me by the balls. I was gonna say, but that. He clearly played the game really, really, really well. And he only wins because the sister is that defensive here. It's able to actually deal with the damage I put. He gets onto it. And his Tangrove actually lacks HP Fire. And the Tangrove have HP Power. Fire. Fire. I, I, like I said, I'm all over the place. Had he had that, he would definitely have won this game. I win here 1 0. 
He missed Sleep Powder yet again. As we're gonna just wrap it up with, of course, a superpower because that's that's normal. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thank you of course so much for watching. Thank you, Rudy. This wife of all was incredible. I had a lot of fun yesterday. It's a good job on you, buddy. I would not have been sad I lost this game because hell, I was pretty darn anticlimactic with of course type of cook and whatnot. I liked it. It was pretty epic. So anyway, guys, thank you of course so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.